Today is a very important day for Bengali culture. A lot of you may think it's a regular Wednesday. Some of you may know this as International Mother's Language Day. But for us, it's the anniversary of the Bengali language movement. Today, many, many Bangladeshis stand tall and proud, commemorating the brave souls and individuals who granted us our independence. Now, let me tell you why this is so important. Bangladesh wasn't Bangladesh until the Indo-Pakistani Wars and the Bangladesh Liberation War in 1971 and before then it was part of Pakistan. Now Pakistan was founded by Muhammad Ali Jinnah. He was the leader up until the late 1940s. The current Bangladesh was known as East Pakistan and the current Pakistan was known as West Pakistan. So there were two states to Pakistan on opposite sides. He believed that Now, a lot of East Pakistan at this point had adopted a Bengali culture and language as a result of many ethnic and cultural divisions and broadening the language. So a lot of East Pakistan was talking Bengali at this point. They had their own language and they were proud of it. Now, West Pakistan wanted control. The leader, Muhammad Ali Jinnah, in 1948, made a speech and stated that Urdu was to be the only language, the true language, and anyone who went against it and refused to speak Urdu as a national language of Pakistan was an enemy. Need no doubt that the state language of Pakistan is going to be Urdu and no other language. <laughs> and anyone who tries to mislead you is really the enemy of Pakistan. Now this resulted in many strikes and riots and protests by the whole of East Pakistan. Students, unions, labourers, lots of people from groups and protests against this law. They wanted Bengali to be its own language, to stand on their own two feet and be independent. Now what makes the 21st of February so special is that in 1952 there was another protest. At 9 o'clock the rally formed. Lots of students started coming in around Taka Medical College. Now, Pakistani armed forces during the riots and protests were trying to control East Pakistan and enforce Urdu as the national language. So groups of students formed outside the universities and started protesting and there were sudden outrages and bursts and riots and the Pakistani armed forces had resorted to violence over the past few months and things were just getting worse and worse. Many students were arrested for breaching section 144 which was a law against mass protesting in confined or private areas. Now four incredibly brave university students in particular had stood up against the Pakistani forces, stood there, head held high and proudly speaking in the Bengali language. Tragically, all four were shot. This is why it's so influential today. Those four students who sacrificed their lives for the preservation of the Bengali language are now national heroes. A temporary monument was created after their deaths by the Dhaka University students, the Shahid Minar or the Martyrs Monument. Now it was destroyed twice over the next few years by Pakistani forces, yet it was rebuilt and stands proud to this day in central Dhaka. This day is a commemoration for those four students who gave their lives for the preservation of their mother tongue and who give me the ability to stand here right now with the mother tongue of Bengali. And yes, actually Bengali is my mother language because it's the first language I learned and it was the only language that I knew for four or five years. I was born in this country but I was grown up surrounded by a culture of Bangladesh and I started learning English a few years later. So yeah, Bengali is my mother tongue. It's the language I feel most confident in and the language I learned first and from my parents. So yeah, I'm extremely proud and patriotic to be able to be involved with this day, this memory and this movement that happened. And I remember the first time I heard this story and the reason why the 21st of February is so celebrated in Bangladesh, uh, my dad told me a few years ago. And I remember he recited the story with such pride and patriotism, I thought I couldn't not share it with the world to know. So hopefully I've educated you in the history of Bangladesh a little bit, its liberation, its fight for independence, its war and movements against West Pakistan's strict cultures, how Bangladesh stood up and shed blood for the preservation of its culture. And in fact, the reason the Bangladeshi flag has a red circle in the middle is to signify the bloodshed and loss of lives over the years to gain its independence. And the green represents the fertile land and agricultural system that's used in Bangladesh as its main source of economy. So I really hope that you learned something from this inspirational and iconic story that many, many Bangladeshis will be remembering now. And I did actually used to own a Bangladeshi bandana like the Freedom Fighters in Bangladesh. Um, 
No clue where that is now. So, time to improvise. That's right, paper Bangladeshi bandana. I have too much time on my hands. So, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, I hope you have a happy International Mother Language Day. If you can speak another language, then let me know in the comments because I would actually love to know uh, how diverse my uh, viewers are and how many languages we can speak. So, yeah, tell me in the comments. I would love to know. I'm really interested in languages. Uh, that is all from me today. I really hope you learned something new. And if you did, you might be interested in some more history or culture of Bangladesh. Who knows, it is actually pretty interesting. So uh, let me know in the comments any suggestions or if you do know another language or multiple languages. You might be a polyglot, I don't know. And I will see you all in the next video. So thank you for watching, happy International Mother's Language Day and as we say in Bangladesh, Joy Bangla. That was so, that was so cringy, why did I do, why did I just say the Bangladeshi slogan as my output? What? And as we say in Bangladesh, Joy Bangla. Uh, I would just like to make a quick note, this video was not endorsed by my uh, incredible Bangladesh uh, bandana in any way shape or form, even though it is absolutely fabulous and makes me look like a freedom fighter as you, as you can tell so yeah, if you want one for yourself, hit me up, it's gonna cost you 20 quid though it is pretty premium so yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you all later this is, this is my setup, I've got this awesome tripod that this camera was on I've got this light Oi oi, how are you doing? I hope you like the soundproofing this is expert soundproofing here, don't need any foam. As you can see, it's a double layers of soundproofing, plus a very good uh, wooden barrier that I like to call a door. Very sophisticated. Yeah, you guys are very special to see this, by the way. Like, not, not many people get the chance to see my behind the scenes. This, this is an exclusive, okay? This is an exclusive. I, ju I look just like a Bangladeshi freedom fighter. Joy Bangla! Yeah! My dad would be proud. My dad would be very proud right now that I said that. My dad would be so proud right now. This is for you, dad. Even though you don't watch my videos. This bandana, this fake bandana, even though it's even though it's made out of paper, this is awesome. I'm gonna wear this to all the Bangladeshi rallies when I go to Bangladesh. This is gonna be awesome. I'm gonna live in Bangladesh and go on the streets wearing this.